Marvel Legends collectors, welcome back to another video. We've got Odin from the first Thor movie, based on his appearance from the first Thor movie, uh, in the Infinity Saga packaging. This is the sort of more sort of deluxe packaging. They sort of put out a few figures. Um, we have the Thor movie poster on the back. The King of Asgard, protect, protector of the Nine Realms and father of Thor, Odin has learned to appreciate peace over the centuries. And uh, yeah, nice artwork on these boxes. They come up very nice. I did just review Thor. And um, yeah, Thor from Love and Thunder as well, just before I snuck this one in. So yeah, I'm excited about this one. Uh, it wasn't really on my radar until recently, and uh, I picked up the Endgame Thor, and thought, yeah, Odin does look pretty damn good. I watched a couple of reviews on YouTube, and uh, yeah, I was pretty impressed with what I saw, so decided to pick this one up. He looks good. So uh, yeah, we'll get a good look at him out of the box package just as soon as I've opened it. All right, guys, here is Odin himself. Great looking figure, really nice. Really, really nice. So accessories he comes with is his staff, which uh, I've currently got him holding. Normally I'd go through the accessories before I um, put them on the figure, but he is indeed helping him stand up at the moment just because I've got a little slightly unlevel surface here, but um, I'm working with what I've got. <laughs> so he does come with another set of hands. So we have a fist. Which is nice and sort of another sort of loosely open hand, which looks good. And we do have a alternate head sculpt, which I'll we'll try and zoom in on a little bit. Pretty good likeness of uh, Mr. Hopkins. I think, I think he's come out pretty well. Slight, slight grin there. Um, one thing I've already noticed about this one is that this head sculpt won't fit the helmet just because the hair has been sculpted on the other head to accommodate that helmet, whereas this one is to accommodate his, uh, you know, helmetless head. But yeah, it looks good nonetheless. His eye patch should be slightly more gold, but that's okay. Yeah, nicely sculpted. Just see skin beard underneath there, but that's okay. I think they've done pretty well getting those sort of colour tones right. A little bit lighter perhaps, but I am sort of sitting here looking at it in a very saturated light. So let's get a look at the other head. As you can sort of see, that's sort of sculpted in comparison. I'll put this one up side by side. You can sort of see the hair on this one has uh, been sculpted to accommodate not wearing a helmet, whereas this one, yeah, it's definitely sort of pushed down into the figure a little bit more. But I think I like this head sculpt more. I just like that sort of serious look on Odin. It works really well with this figure. So you can use his helmet. Nice piece. I'm almost tempted to go give this a little spray of gold just to get rid of that almost sort of gold plasticky look. Um, and yeah, the fact that it is quite a soft plastic, you know. Um, you know, it's good. No kid's going to poke their eye out with it. So that's the safety safety precaution here. But uh, yeah, it definitely has a bit more of a plastic look. But once it's on, it looks nice. Sits on very well. And, uh, yeah, it looks very nice. Some nice details on his staff. Looks good. Again, a little bit plasticky, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Yeah, Hasbro loves their bright red. Bright red capes. I feel like it should just be a slightly darker tone, but that's all right. It's probably just working with the plastic they have. And it avoids painting, so they don't actually have to paint the capes when they can just cast it in the correct color. Or well, as close as possible. So one thing I do like is the way the cape is sort of sitting almost sort of draped over his left shoulder a little bit more around the front. I think that looks a bit nicer. I don't, don't know why. I don't know. There's just something about that. It just looks good. His armor looks good. That sort of bronze 
and sort of gunmetal sort of accents on it. I think it looks good. Bronzy gold, more of an orangey bronze up here, looks good. Sort of the nondescript looking pants, like a little bit darker, they would be a little bit nicer, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it, I think it's fine. There's a little bit of a gap in the joint there. It might just be my copy, there might just be a little bit of extra plastic in there, but again, yeah, not a big deal. Braces on the arms look good. Like these sort of pieces of armor here up on the upper arm, they look good. Let's have that on that side as well, which is nice. On the back, there's the peg for the cape. One would lead to believe that this is removable, but I don't think it is, so just leave that one down. I'm sure there is a way to lift them off. I dare say they're glued in place, but the you know, customizers out there, you'd be able to find a way, I'm sure, if you wanted to replace it with fabric or whatever it is you guys do out there. Fantastic stuff. I'm really digging this figure, guys. I think Odin looks fantastic. The Thor movies are some of my favorite of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a nice one. Kind of wish I'd uh, kept my Hella, <laughs> which I had at one point, but uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I just sort of like pick and choose my Marvel Legends these days, what I like and what looks good. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thank you for coming and hanging out and checking out my review on Odin. Based on his appearance from the first Thor movie. Fantastic stuff. He's gonna look really good next to next to Thor. Brilliant. All right, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.